Good morning, good evening friends, namaste. Welcome to the fifth lecture in the uh, orientation program series of lectures. I hope you are enjoying the, the lectures and uh, if you have any questions, I will be glad to answer. You know, post your uh, questions in the comment section down there. So friends, having understood the importance of the VPK uh, fingerprint in individual organs and having understood that you need to customize your supplements and also you need to follow a dietary regimen, you know that. It is very time consuming number one and it is a serious uh, intervention and, and then you need to sustain the levels of motivation to be you know following the entire regimen for the next 9 to 18 months. So friends you know uh, I would say that it is not an easy form of treatment for sure at least for now that is what it looks like for me. Uh, it, it is not going to be easy. So if uh, if you guys cannot or anyone uh, of you cannot follow this please uh, you know do not seek an appointment. I am not discouraging you but I am just saying that you know it will not help you. So when you come be prepared to follow all, all of the entire protocol. So let me go to the next step of the treatment process. So as I said the herbs have to be personalized isn't it and what I need to assure you is that all our herbs are you know lot of you know uh, side effects are being talked about about Ayurvedic supplements. I will I'll tell you briefly about the kind of side effects that you could experience is number one you know is because of the contaminants present in the herbs. The contaminants that could most probably present in the uh, herbs are in the form of heavy metals like arsenic, lead, cadmium um, etc. Um, they, when you do an extraction or a shodhana process of the particular herb you are eliminating these heavy metals and these heavy metals are not used routinely there in, in the herbs especially. These are contaminants that are uh, polluting the environment the pollu that have already polluted the soil friends. So this is not what we add to your supplement. So but we make sure in our manufacturing process we make sure that your supplements are completely metal free or they fall within the uh, prescribed limits as set by the Indian Ayush department and or the USFDA's recommendations. And the set of toxins that could be present naturally in the herbs are the aflatoxins and we make sure that they are eliminated too. And the set uh, are the pesticides. You know, you know that we don't add pesticides. That they are uh, the process. They are a part of our uh, uh, farming process. So even pesticides are removed. We make sure that in a, every batch of a uh, herbal production is tested for heavy metals, aflatoxins, pesticides, and also for the microbial count. Only when it passes all the tests that you know they we formulate them and then you know package them and then give it to you. We do these tests routinely in um, NABL approved labs uh, across the country. We have a tie up with uh, several labs uh, to do these tests. So uh, number one. So these, these could be the cause for certain side effects that are talked about widely. But then other causes as I said uh, earlier, uh, causes of side effects for these herbal supplements come from the fact that you are mismapping the herbal supplement to a certain disease. For example, you take Arjuna the bark of the Arjuna and uh, you, uh, you, you make a kashayam out of it you know which, which is a watery extraction and you give to a kapha patient, a kapha mediated ischemic heart disease patient. What it does is a kapha mediation from the original Panchabhautika concept, uh, kapha aggravation means that the, the patient has already have excess of Bhutatva and Jalatatva. If you give him a watery extraction, the watery, ext the watery extracts are already naturally absorbed in a kapha mediated individual or, or ischemic heart disease mediated uh, through kapha. And so the Arjuna, the watery extract Arjuna will not help the kapha patient because these are not the fractions that this individual would need. You need Arjuna extracted from uh, ethanol, you know higher con concentration of ethanol which is Arjuna Arishtam. So this syntax has to be maintained while you prescribe the Ayurvedic supplements and that is what exactly we do. So if we mismap then what happens is that you know flavones are needed by a Vata individual. So if you do a watery extraction you end up with you know most of the flavones getting dissolved and then you know this suits a Vata individual and also certain phytosterols that are extracted under low per percentage of ethanol also get extra, uh, also are found in you know uh, these uh, um, formulations and these phytosterols are essential for a vata mediated uh, disease essentially. 
if you give this to a kapha mediated individual he already has excessive of flavone you end up with uh, a liver mediated to toxicosis it, it could lead to uh, hepatotoxicity or even nephrotoxicity so friends see the uh, hepatic or uh, nephrotoxicity is stemming out not just from the heavy metals but also by mismapping these herbal uh, extraction forms to different VPK proportioned individuals. So this is something that uh, we all need to be aware about, you know, uh, the Ayurvedic herbal supplements. So based on our research in the last 20 years on phytochemistry friends, we have formulated over 19 different uh, herbal blends that are used in a personalized manner depending on the dhatu and doshas we are dealing in different individuals. Um, and uh, they are appropriately, you know, uh, the, these uh, all these herbs are pre-processed and then extracted appropriately and then formulated. And as I said, all as I said earlier, all the extraction, all the formulations are uh, uh, well certified by NABL accredited labs for you know and profiled for their heavy metal content, uh, aflatoxins, pesticides, and microbial count. So, friends, uh, I'll end this uh, session here. We'll meet in the next lecture where I'll give you the lecture on what type of exercises are needed for you, physical breathing, and also I'll give you an idea of uh, what you should expect during the consultation process. Thank you.